Okay, kids, we've got a rooftop unit that does not have power is what I'm assuming because the thermostat's blank. I checked power at the thermostat and we do not have 24 volts. So, should be that package unit right over there. Fairly sure this is the entry into the building. See what we got going on. Everything here is electric because that's 100% efficient. Not cheap, but it's 100% efficient, of course. Ha ha. <sighs> wow. Woo! I'm loving it. Hell yes. That's nice. Let's see if we got power here. Now, the only reason why I killed power and not check for codes first is because this is all electric and this is older. It does not have any codes. So nothing was erased. Usually your power comes into your top and I have power at the top. While we got it open, let's go ahead and check our fuses. Good, good. Good. We got the breaker off, so obviously only live ones is these over here, so we'll try to stay out of that. That is just nice. The birdies got in through that little hole right there. It would be probably good if they got that closed up. Actually, right there is the knockout for it that somebody screwed up and took out by accident look at that all right they've been evicted i went ahead and turned the power back on now that we know that we ain't got anything weird going on down here that could cause a issue let's go ahead and verify that we've got the power getting through the forks and everything which it should there really ain't a good reason why it wouldn't let's go on down to here 216, 214, 214. So we're good on that. Okay, we went ahead and yanked the cover off because this place hasn't been uh, getting maintained because of all the stuff that's been going on. And I have a funny feeling, here's my prediction, okay? Because it hasn't been maintained, the belt is loose. You got a rollout switch there. You've got some major electrical strips down below fans not speeding fast enough did it trip i heard a click but i don't think it was a normal click let's go ahead and check our voltage over here and see what we got going on look at that kids don't even have to check voltage the blower kicked on look at that watch how fast it goes when we push down on it day and night difference all right well, these are the kind of calls I've been running into lately. Just nothing worth showing. We could just tighten the belt up and leave. But let's go ahead and make sure we check our electric strips out. I thought maybe this might be a heat pump. Some of these actually are heat pumps. You don't see that very often. You've literally got heat pumps up here on some of these rooftop units. Around here, it's not very common. But uh, when you get places like this where they don't have gas, that tends to happen. So we can go through and check all of our, ooh my, look at, look at that. The power is off again. All right, good. It's just the outer skin, not the actual true jacket. So we're good. We'll check all that here in a second. Let's go ahead and get this thing tightened up. Belt off. It's not one of our normal belts either. It's something for the local hardware. The sheave there is a little war. It's not real horrible. Let's see if we can get on there. Oh boy, did they lie and change it? Yeah, they changed it. What a bunch of dirty dogs. I love it when they don't keep things uniform. That is... Oh, nope. I just don't know how to read a wrench. Here's my 9 sixteenths. I grabbed a half by accident. I hate when that happens. 
that, they actually made it the same size. Okay, let's get this belt back on. See if we can get this thing tightened up a little bit. I see a half an inch there ought to do it. Look at that. Just like new. Just like new again. Let's go ahead and now the question's gonna be do they want us to check that one, that one, that one, that one, that one over there, and the one behind the tree that you can't see to make sure all those are fine. Let's go ahead and check some of these fuses. I just heard a click. I think I hear the electric contactor coming on. Yeah, electric contactor's on. We're pulling 67 amps. Fan's not running. That ain't good. Let's go ahead and kill that. So not only was it loose belt, but we got either a fan is malfunctioning or the uh, switch. I am not sure if this one has a switch like a uh, snap disc that comes on for a delay or if it's a straight from the thermostat. Let's go ahead and check and see if we got a G signal at all for this thing. Let's see what we got going on here. I'll, I'll read the meter. You guys just watch my finger placements. Okay, no G yet. No W, no W, no G. We do have R. We should hear a click when the... Uh... Now look at that. Came on immediately as soon as it had a uh, call and a, a, y, a W1 here call at the same time. Okay, so the question is, did we have a problem with the thermostat maybe not bringing it on? Or is it a problem with the uh, relay that controls the fan? Hard to say. Let's go ahead and get inside here deeper. Got two contactors for the um, compressors and you should have this one here usually for the fan. And those have a tendency to fail sometimes. They may just replace that as a good precaution. They're not super expensive. All right, turning her back on. Let's see if it does anything funny this time. Immediately came on, that sucks. All right, be nice to see it do it again. W1's got a call and W2 not yet. There's no 24 volts to that, so that must not be, must not be our, this one here must be. That's compressor, that's compressor. So our blower's right here. And they pulled that right off there for the ultraviolet light. And good grief, ain't that kind of scary when you run the shielded wire right above the capacitor like that. Not scary. Well, let's see here. Yeah, I got 25 over here on the coil. Hard to say exactly. Yes, the strips are being shut off at the same time, but these are relays for these strips. They're not thermal discs that bring them on. So I'm not too concerned because that's how it shuts off normally. Power's back off again. I mean, if you push on the edge, it doesn't go in. Push on that side, it does. It's not worth it to me. That one goes in. That one doesn't. It's easy. I mean, in theory, yeah, it's probably not... I don't know. I'm just not taking a chance. Let's go ahead and get that contactor replaced. Before we go that route, let's take a look at these filters. They're uh, cheapies. Two inchers. Last change, December of 19. So we're coming up on two years for a single filter. Single uh, non-pleated filter. And that metal thing there is the ultraviolet LED halo going down below. At first, here's May of 20, I changed these from closed to 6 volts. And uh, that quickly was decided not to do because they couldn't keep up with the capacity. So let's, uh, like I said, go get a new contactor. I just want to check these filters. I don't have any on the trucks. Gonna have to have them do it or we'll have to come back. It looks like they are 
20 by 20 by two. Power definitely is off. And I made sure there wasn't power from another alternative source. Because that's another issue you'll run into. They'll bring power in two different locations because it's such a large amount of capacity. Definitely want to make sure you check that. We got her back in there. Went diagonal with my mounting bolts instead of two. The top screws, not bolts. Let's go down here and check our elements while we got the power off and see if we got resistance against all of them. I guess the maintenance is due uh, into this month, so I won't have to mess with any of the other filters or any of the filters or the belts. I guess it'll all get done here at the end of the month. What we have here is power comes into here and here, loops back and forth, comes over here through the limit and into there. So your two test points are going to be there. Uh, went ahead through and through all of them and made sure they were good. This way we're kind of testing the limit and the coil itself. Looks like the contactors have been changed recently, or at least they look newer. Can't quite tell. Looks different than that one there. This one's got that same kind of cruddy. Yeah. These are 08. This looks like it's 32 kW. So it's a little bitty piggy. Let's check these out, make sure they're fine. We had anywhere from 6 to 10 ohms area. You can see the wiring comes across, goes up, goes through these fuses, which we'll check those real quick, and then we can kick it on. In theory, most of this crap's supposed to be checked with the power off anyway. Not that any of us do it that way. The power's back on. Should be kicking on here in a second, and we'll check out the strips that come on first. 6.7 on the blower, which Door's off, so it's gonna be at its absolute highest you could possibly ask for. 5.8 is the norm, so when we get it back on there, it should surely be below that. We did it like that, so we can kind of check and see what we got here for amber off. Nothing on that and yet. These two here fold in. We get 20 amps. 20. 20, 20, kind of go to the big one, 35, see how it's splitting that up, pulling phase to phase. See how many little piggies we got feeding here, we got 76, 77, 77. That's amazing, these are 60 amp fuses. And we got 6 or 7.3 there. These must be feeding up and out. Yeah, they're, they're, they're piggybacking out of here. They're using this as a junction block. 28 on that one. 28 on that one. So this little piggy here. There we go. Must not have either had the clamp completely closed or something. So it's 28. So 29. 29.8. 29.1, 28.78, Now we're at 99 amps on the top, 100 amps, and 92. Yeah, our other strip there did kick in. Yep, 13, 13. 21 something so all of our strips are working so we said 5.8 and we're at 3.7 3.8 so our blower is fine got our cover on got to get some tappers because some people don't know how to put the screws back into a unit it's all right guys it's uh running blowers running the heat's shut off so we're good to go amperages checked out fine we got the contactor here replaced like i said look at that. i can't even push that in when I push on that side, I got it's got to almost be dead center, which, yes, the contactor is pulled from the center, but it hasn't acted up since. Uh, if there's other issues uh, and it's not doing it right now, 
we did the most likely cause and uh, we got it. So what else are you going to do? I mean, the belt definitely was loose. That was primary probably what was going on. But when it doesn't come on at all, it definitely is a problem. That's going to wrap this one up. On to the next one. Till next time. Later.